Good morning. Thank you all for being here. Um, as we just saw, that was a special moment. Thank you, officer, for being here as well and for your family for being here to support you. You know, it's a special day when we find out that people in our community are not only helping other members, but when they help our own. And so we wanted to get everybody together to honor these four individuals who saw somebody in need that morning and took action to help. And that person was our Denver police officer, Officer Pequeno. Uh, we have, as we can see, a sergeant from the Denver, Pre Denver Corrections Office, and we'd like to acknowledge his supervisors who are here. Thank you for being here as well, as well to support him. And then we also have the family members of these heroes. We also thank you for being here. Um, first up, we are gonna have Sergeant Troy Zimmerman to tell us what happened. And then we will have Hannah Scandera from the Daniels Fund and Chief Ron Thomas and then our officer as well. So, Sergeant. Good morning. My name is Sergeant Troy Zimmerman, uh, T R O I Z I M M E R M A N. I'm a supervisor with the Denver Police Traffic Operations Bureau. I was the supervisor that responded to this accident on that day. And I was at the scene pretty quick and got to see the actions of all these gentlemen. I was really impressed with what they did. So I'll read uh, from the commendation uh, that I wrote that day, which sort of led up to what we got going on here today. So at approximately 5.15 a.m. on July 21st, 2022, Denver police officer Anthony Bacania was involved in a serious motorcycle crash on northbound I-25 near 23rd Avenue. Officer Bacania was attempting to stop a driver who had just committed a serious traffic violation when his motorcycle experienced an anomaly that caused him to lose control and strike the concrete median at a high rate of speed. Officer Bacania was seriously injured and was pinned under his motorcycle in the left lane of traffic. It's the fast lane and there's a lot of traffic coming down that time of day. The three, three drivers were driving in that area at the same time and they observed this incident and saw the officer go down on the highway. These individuals reacted quickly by positioning their personal cars in a manner that created a barrier between the oncoming traffic and the officer laying on the highway. The three gentlemen, Hector Arrojo, Vincent Plasky, and Austin Mackey, then exited their vehicles and rendered aid to Officer Bacano as he lay injured on the highway. At the same time, Colorado Department of Corrections Sergeant Robert Presley was driving by the scene and observed Officer Bacano down on the highway. Sergeant Presley had medical supplies in his vehicle and pulled over to assist in rendering medical aid to Officer Pequeno. Sergeant Presley provided basic first aid and applied some bandages to Officer Pequeno's injuries and stayed there with him until further help arrived. These four men's actions undoubtedly present, prevented this scene from becoming worse and I thank them for their quick and caring actions in helping our officer. I'd also like to recognize Officer Pequeno, who's here with us. He's had a long road to recovery, but he's back to work as of today uh, on light duty. So thank you, Tony. It's good seeing him. And I, I know it's been a long struggle, and he's had uh, quite a bit of medical uh, treatment that had to take place to get him here to this point. So now I'd like to bring up Hannah with the Daniels Fund. Good morning, and thank you, Sergeant Zimmerman. I'm just struck by so many times we read headlines and we don't get to celebrate something in the headline. And the headline today is a celebration. And um, I, our founder, Bill Daniels, and with the Daniels Fund, was a visionary entrepreneur and a cable television pioneer. Known for his big heart and compassion for those in need, he was also a Navy fighter pilot in World War II and Korea. And through that experience, he gained a deep appreciation for people who placed their lives on the line to help others which is basically this entire room. The Daniels Fund created the Bill Daniels Neighborhood Hero Award in his spirit to honor people who go above and beyond to help others. And it's my privilege and my honor to um, award and present um, to our heroes today, Hector, Austin, Vincent, so Sergeant Robert Presley. We are just grateful. Thank you for modeling what we hope our entire community is filled with, but often we don't get to see heroes that champion um, the things that matter most and last the most, I think. These four individuals perfectly fit the description of a neighborhood hero, and we really are thrilled to honor them today for aiding Officer Pequeño after his motorcycle crash. So thank you for your courage and your quick life-saving action in rushing to the aid of Officer Pequeño. 
um, people like you selflessly answering the call to help others make our community a better place. And to show our appreciation, we'd like to present each of you with the Bill Daniels Neighborhood Hero Award. So I would just ask if you would, um, uh, Hector, we'll start with, with you. Come on up, and I would love to present this award to you. Um, thank you for honoring um, our officer and also for honoring our community by being a hero. So this is for you, and we're grateful for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, it is just, like I said, an honor to, to honor our heroes today and all those who are here, who are heroes every day. So thank you for that. Now I'd like to turn it over to Chief Thomas to say a few words. Well, good morning, uh, and thank you all for coming. You know, recent events um, have shown that uh, police work is inherently dangerous. And certainly the work that our traffic officers do keeping our roadways safe, particularly on a motorcycle, is, is certainly noteworthy. Uh, but the work that these four gentlemen uh, did to protect Officer Pequeno um, is truly inspiring. You know, it lets us know that certainly there are a lot of good and uh, thoughtful people in the world out there, that we're all in this together, and so we're, we're uh, truly thankful. Certainly thankful that Officer Pequeno wasn't uh, injured uh, any more severely. Um, thankful to the Daniels Fund for awarding these, uh, these four heroes with uh, the Neighborhood Hero Award. Um, certainly uh, you continue to, to recognize uh, heroes in our community um, uh, in, you know, in the spirit of, of Bill Daniels and we're certainly thankful for that. Um, but uh, for myself and on behalf of the entire the police department, many of our members are, are, are back in the back watching today. Uh, certainly thankful to, to all four of you uh, for the work that you did uh, to protect uh, our, our fallen officers. So I, I wanna thank you and I have um, Community Hero Awards to present to each of you. Uh, so just a minute. Sergeant Presley here, and then uh, a couple of tokens also of our appreciation. I think this year, if you hand it to a traffic officer, he gets out of the ticket. Maybe it's not. Uh, <laughs>
Officer Pequeno, say a few words too. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you all for being here. My family, my wife. Uh, thank you to the Daniels Fund. Thank you to the department for recognizing these wonderful individuals. Um, I had this speech prepared, uh, and then I sat down and I thought, I'm like, you know what? These guys deserve so much more than words down on a, a piece of paper. Uh, so it really needs to come from here. It's, as Troy and Chief Thomas both said, it's been a long road so far, um, but I've had the road because of these wonderful people. And what they've done, um, you know, we're, we're used to as first responders being the ones to run towards the danger when everyone else is running away and offering our assistance. And I think I speak on behalf of most of the first responders in this room when I say, you know, we dive into this career and um, maintain this long career because we want to help people, you know, we desire to help people. And that, that's our main goal is to be here for the community, support the community, protect the community, and be there for the community. And I don't think anybody in this room expects ourselves to be the ones to be in need like that. Um, but when I was in need, uh, these four individuals absolutely stepped up to the plate. And like I said, uh, it's been a long road. I still have a long road, but I have a road paved because of these wonderful individuals next to me here today. Um, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to ask you all to please stand up and give them a big round of applause. And thank you. Again, thank you to the department. Thank you to everybody for being here. Thank you to the Daniels Fund. I really appreciate it. And to you gentlemen, I owe you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, officer. Were there any questions from anybody? All right. With that, we'll close it. Thank you.